Welcome back to another Fox Sports Detroit Fantasy Football video. I'm Dennis Farrell, getting you ready for this year's Fantasy Football Draft 2015 is approaching very quickly. Never too soon to be caught up to date. I've got some news, rumors, a lot of wide receiver values that you should pick up. We'll talk more about my gig at 105.1 FM, Detroit Sports. First, let's get with the news and notes. Right now, it looks like C.J. Anderson remains atop of the running back depth chart in Denver. But keep an eye on Monty Ball. He's pressing pretty hard. I don't think he'll overtake him, but it'll be enough to take a lot of snaps away from him. And a big difference going is C.J. Anderson is going 19th overall, and Monty Ball going 130th overall. Monty Ball looks like he could be a decent value. Maybe not a flex, but a bench play at that goal of a draft point. Eagles reporters are projecting DeMarco Murray to get about 17 carries a game. To, to give it into perspective, they're also projecting that Ryan Matthews gets between 9 and 10, and Darren Sproles will get two carries a game. But you'll see Sproles more into the passing game. And of course, there's a big gap in where Ryan Matthews is being drafted and DeMarco Murray. David Johnson, I talked a lot about him, the rookie out of the third round to Arizona. He is looking spectacular in catching the ball. I expect him to be a big sleeper in PPR leagues this season, more so than standard leagues. But keep an eye on him. Once again, here's another guy that's being drafted pretty low in a lot of drafts. Now, booms or busts wide receivers. Look, there's a lot. Wide receiver is a deep position in my eyes this season. And there are a lot of guys that you can hit home runs on. One of the big busts to me is Odell Beckham Jr. Here's a guy that missed four weeks last week, last season, due to a hamstring injury. And this season, he's already dealing with hamstring injuries and OTAs, sitting out the rest of them. You might see him in, you know, preseason games, but I don't expect it to. Here's a guy that's being the third wide receiver drafted off the board, ninth overall. I'm kind of staying away from him this season. He has a lot of red flags and he's scaling, scar scaring, scaring me. Mike Evans. Here's another steal for me, going about the third round, by far the easiest schedule, once again, for any wide receiver. He's got an upgraded quarterback, he's got an upgraded offensive coordinator, and here's another guy that is just, you know, second year player. I think he's going to put it all together. He was 12th best wide receiver last season. Another bust in my eyes is Antonio Brown. The hardest schedule for a wide receiver this season. Also missing Le'Veon Bell for the first three games. He's one of those wide receivers that will be all right if you draft him in the PPR league. But you know, in standard leagues, he's scaring me. There's a lot of red flags. He's, this, he's by far the first wide receiver being drafted, but he's also a guy that I'm staying away from. Just not buying Antonio Brown as the best wide receiver this season. Another still is Torrey Smith, now with the 49ers. Smith is in his four years, in the NFL, he's never had under 750 yards receiving. Now, he's a boomer bust player with home run hitting potential, sure, but with an ADP of about the mid eighth round in 12 team leagues and the 37th wide receiver going off the board, I really believe that this guy is going to be one of those guys you can pick up late in the draft who will produce for you against bad teams. So keep that in mind. Another guy quickly, Marquise Colston. You have no cooks, you have no Graham, you have no steals. This means he could be a nice little value. And I'm not talking about drafting him, you know, as a as a flex player. I'm just talking about maybe the last pick of the draft. Marquise Colston could be one of these guys that might step in and help you. And don't forget, you know, last season, at the end of the year, the final four games of 2014, he got 18 receptions, 268 yards, and three touchdowns. So keep an eye on Colston. Now, Ruben Randall is another guy, contract year. He was projected to be the second guy on this team, of course, behind Odell Beckham Jr., but ahead of Victor Cruz on the depth charts now. Uh, the final couple games of last season, he had phenomenal numbers. He blew up for 12 receptions, 290 yards, and a touchdown. I think he's a wide receiver, too, on this team, and he will be one of those guys, once again, a late round draft pick. All right, this week's contract player that you want to keep an eye on that could help bring dividends to your fantasy team, Alfred Morris. Here's the yin and yang of the guy. Rookie season 2012, his yearly stats have declined every season since. But the upside of this guy, 
He's not had no fewer than a thousand yards and seven touchdowns in any of those years. I expect him to come back again and have another good year, and especially with an ADP of 26 overall. That's the 12th running back off the board. This guy playing for a contract could bring you a lot better numbers than what he's given up there. All right, guys, time to the promotion part of the, the show here. Now, head over to DetroitSports1051.com and check out the fantasy football podcast I'm doing over there, already up and rocking and rolling, putting out some good stuff to help you there. You can follow Detroit Sports 1051 on Twitter at DSports1051 to get more information on where you can find me. You can also head over to Twitter and follow me personally at Dennis77Farrell. A lot of good stuff happened on my Twitter account, giving you some highs and lows of fantasy football to help get you get back in the gear and get you going on your fantasy football drafts. And remember, head over to FantasySidelineShow.net for more podcasts, more content, more news and rumors. That's your one-stop shop for everything fantasy football right there. Signing off this week, your host, Dennis Farrell. We'll see you again next week.